Welcome aboard again. Uh, work continues at a breathtaking pace. Uh, we've had some successes and some setbacks, and I'll tell you about where we're at. I have the Boomkin pieces set up with the teak spacer blocks. I uh, discovered that the spacer blocks are actually too deep for uh, the way the boat is designed, so I had to trim them down and make them short uh, or shorter. That didn't work very well, but I managed to uh, figure it out. While I was doing a test fit of the Boomkin, I made another discovery. You may remember this piece, this is the Boomkin fitting. I had it polished, it's original original hardware off the boat, and it uh, had a little bit of rust on it, but other than that, it looked fine. So I just went ahead and took it in with the new pieces and had had it polished. Well, while I was fitting the Boomkin, uh, this actually weighs, you know, four or five pounds. I put it on the end of the Boomkin and the weight uh, upset the balance of the boomkin and one of the beams and this piece fell from the deck to the ground, which is quite a distance. When I picked up the stainless steel boomkin fitting, I noticed something. And that when I took a closer look, I'm actually kind of glad that it did fall to the ground. If you look right here, you see that little Spider webbing looks like cracking there. That's exactly what that is. It's crevice corrosion. It didn't show up when I polished it. It didn't show up at all until I dropped it. And when I dropped it, it came down on an angle like that, hit the end of the tank, and the shock was just sufficient enough to shatter the corrosion. So uh, brand new, this is a $275 piece. I'm hoping to be able to have it remanufactured for less than that, but it obviously needs to be remanufactured because it's got corrosion. These these pieces here are 3 sixteenths. I'm probably going to have them upgraded to one quarter and it's in 304 stainless. I'll probably have that upgraded to 316. 316 has more chrome in the metal, so it's more corrosion resistance. The downside of 316 is it's not as strong. So Holes like this where the um, whisker stay tangs uh, fit through with the um, turnbuckles can elongate. That's why I want to make this a little bit heavier because in 316 it'll be a little bit, just a little bit weaker. I mean, this, this piece here was new on the boat 1976. It's 2016 now. So if it lasted for 40 some odd years with 304, it would probably last another 40 years with 304, and that's longer than I'll be sailing. Well, maybe. And I thought if somebody buys a boat after me, at least they'll know they've got a, a solid piece of steel on there. So that's where that is. The bowsprit and bowsprit platform project is probably what I'll be working on next. I uh, glassed the underside of the platform. I haven't sanded it down, which is what I'm going to do today. I'll trim the uh, opening down, and then I will attempt to fit it on the bowsprit itself. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see how that goes. That's kind of interesting. I didn't expect it to shatter like that. I suppose if it had some fiber and he's the filler in it or something, it wouldn't have done that, but uh, it did. Nevertheless, let's press on. Got a chunk sitting in the way, so let's see what happens when we crank on that. That's interesting. You can see some, uh, some fractures beginning. You can see the little fractures there and there. Uh, 
Well, it doesn't look like it wants to shatter when it's under pressure. No, oh, there it goes. It's coming apart. That's that's some serious abuse. <laughs> kind of fun. So yeah, not perfect. Not like a piece of diamond or anything, but pretty tough considering that it's just liquid that's hardened. So I'm kind of impressed. I think that'll do the job on the bowsprit for what I intended purposes. I just wanted to seal it, keep the water out of it. So uh, provided um, we don't run into a, a freighter or something, I think it'll work. Well, the time has come. The moon and the stars are in alignment. The albatross is flying west, and the ants are all lined up north-south. So, all the indications are it's time to test fit the boom again. This time I'm doing it right. I'm, uh, I've got my heat spacer blocks at the correct height. I've cleaned up the bronze bolts that go through the deck to hold the boomkin beams in place so they don't fall off like they did last time. And we're ready to go. So I've actually got the boomkin beams in place and I'm going to uh, test fit the end fitting and then drill the deck. What we have here is a bronze carriage bolt. What we have here is a bronze carriage bolt. To give you a nice close up view of it, you'll notice that underneath the head of the bolt is a squared off shoulder. The purpose of that is to stop the bolt from spinning when you put the nut on the bottom and tighten it up. But that means that square has to be recessed into whatever it's going into. And in this case, it is going into the boomkin. Bolts go into the boomkin, thusly. Now, if you recall, previous videos, I put epoxy sleeves in the holes of the boomkin. They are round, the ends are not square. So what to do? Well, I took my handy dandy little Dremel tool here and I got a grinding bit put on the end of it. And I set the depth to be just enough to go through an old chain plate. As you can see here, I've got it clamped. And to the right depth into the epoxy. Now I've done two of them and it works really well. Witness. one nice square inset. Which means that my carriage bolt will sit flush on the wood, just like that. So we're back to working on the bowsprit. Um, the plan so far is to provide a support or a base for the bowsprit platform. The width between the platforms has to be exactly four inches. 
and at the butt of the bowsprit, it's five, and at the tip of the bowsprit, it's four. So I had to router out two slots to make it exactly four inches for the length of the bowsprit platforms. However, the ledge that is left is insufficient for the platform's weight and the weight of hardware, or the people or anchors or whatever else. So I'm going to need to add in a piece on either side for the bowsprit platform to sit on. So there you can see the, the piece that I routed out. And these are the pieces that I have created in order to make a ledge. And the ledge will sit just like that. That's the plan. So I've got a little bit of epoxy where I joined the two pieces together. I've got to trim that back. And then I will cut to the desired length and I will router the edges, bevel the ends, and attach it. I'm going to use, I'm going to use epoxy rather than screws because uh, I think that should be sufficient in terms of load bearing. And we'll take it from there. Well, that's it for tonight. I'm uh, heading home, I'm back tomorrow. I took a day off of work, holiday. So I will be uh, doing a little bit of shopping to get some bits and pieces I need for the projects that I'm doing. And I'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, fair winds, following seas, and God bless.